G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Um, I've just received my bar risers, so we're going to get on with putting those on. I've raised my seat not long back, um, put an extra 20mm padding on, plus I use it on the higher setting as well on the Africa Twin. There's two, there's two settings on the Africa Twin, you can drop it down uh, or you can raise it up. I've raised it up, plus I've put the extra 20mm of padding in, so I'm a little bit leaning forward. So I've bought these bar risers that bring it up 20mm and back towards me a little bit, so we're going to install those. Let's go. Right guys, so we're in the, the bike's bedroom. Um, Gary, you might be a bit echoey in here, but we'll make it work. So yeah, the plan is, is to put the risers in between there to lift it up and back slightly. So this, this is the kit that I bought. These are a solid block aluminium. Um, so they'll go into the, the slot where we take the angle bars out, and raise it up, and as you, see, you can see it kicks back slightly as well. So let's get going. Alright guys, so first off we've got to get these little caps off that cover the uh, screw heads. So just with a little blade I'm just prying them up nice and gently. They don't need dust caps to keep the mud out. <coughs> Alright guys, we'll have a go at cracking these. Oh, not too bad. There you go, it's dropped already. Just move the camera out of the way so we don't. Uh, the bars don't need it. Just drop your back a touch. All right, let's get these out. I'm going to take one side off only first. And then I'm hoping that there's going to be marks on the handle bars to centre them back up. If not, I'm going to mark it. Yeah, there's a little dust lines, but we will mark it and get a pen. I'm actually going to mark it just where it came off there and there just so we can line that back up afterwards yeah just a couple of marks where it was before so when we put them back on they're exactly in the same position do the same take the other one off Bit of background noise going on, but that's just my son Sam on the bandsaw. Alright, we'll just move them over at the way. Just rest them there. Now these actually sit into there like that. So I'll just move you around so you can actually see the side of it. So as you can see they actually fit into the same position. The screws will go through these holes here that come with it and then we'll put the original ones back on top like so and as you can see it's, it's raised it and it's also brought it forward so yeah it should be pretty good. Let's try that. Alright, so I've got some lock seal. We're just going to put it onto the actual... I'm going to put it into the holes. So when we put the screws in, they'll be nice and I'll put a bit on this as well, to be honest. I haven't tried them so you know it's all trial and error you'll 
with me on it you know as much as me so I'm hoping that when we get them on everything will be work and nothing will catch on anything but we won't know until we've actually done it these are for the Africa twin they're not just a standard set from anywhere they are a, a brand for the Africa twin so we'll they should work but you never know I'm just going to nip these up, I'm not going to tighten them all the way up yet. I just took them out because I just realised that one bolt is slightly longer than the other and I had them in the wrong hole so I've just took them and changed them round so we should be good now um, yeah 50-50 chance on that one got it right 50-50 chance on this one and got it wrong Nick them up. Oops. Right. So I'm going to put that back on top of there. I might have to release some of these cables off and put them back afterwards. I don't know if you can see down there, but we've got some clips on the tubes that I'm going to have to uh, unclip to get some space to raise this up. So I'll do that. All right, guys. So what I did, I pulled. <coughs> I put some silica spray onto, let me just take the camera off and show you. I put the silica spray onto that pipe there, which is the brake hose, and slid it up the rubber grommet into the bracket. Made, pulled a little bit through on the cable, and also this cable down here. So hopefully we should have enough, enough room to pull it up and put them back on. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Still got plenty of play on the tubes and everything. So I'll put those on loose and we'll see. Just move you back around there, touch. So again we're going to block seal these back up. I remembered which way they came off so I put them back on exactly the same way. Making sure my pen marks are going back exactly as they was.
give them a bit of a nip up. Just to get a little bit of grip. Same with these, with some lock seal on it. So there's a little bit of movement to the angle bars. Yep. So I'm going to get on the bike. So I've got them a bit loose so I can um, have a play with them. But that's. That feels great. That feels absolutely fantastic there. They're a bit further up because I've just had to alter my mirror. The mirror was up there so that meant before it was down there. But I'm going to have them a little bit there. Adjust that down. If I'm going to not nip them up all the way, I'm just going to check out my steering, make sure it don't catch on anything. That's full lock. Yeah, I'll get my hand under there. Same that way. Get my hand under there. This, I must say, this bike has got one fantastic lock. It's I've never known a boat turned on a, such a small circle. I'm happy with that. Let's tighten them up. Alright guys, so that's that's the angle bar raises. As you can see, they've kicked it up about 20 mil, brought it forward, probably about 30, 40 mil. Um, the test will come when I take it out for a ride. But, um, but just sitting on the bike there, I'm so happy with that. That's pretty good. Alright, that's it. Alright guys, I have a change of mind, as you can see I've turned them round, um, I've had to go with just the riser, I've tilted the angle bars back a little bit so it gives me a bit more back, but these were the two way system, you could go up and back, or just up, um, the reason I had to change them round is because it wouldn't have been so bad if I got my old tank bag, that would have been fine, I could have just moved it back, but not a drama, but I recently bought the Givy tank lock, which is a monster so as you can see it, it just about clears as is there I've still got to put the ring on yet so that would have been way too far back I wouldn't have been able to get onto the lock so yeah I've had to sacrifice that little bit but you know you got to do what you got to do there you go guys handlebar raises for the Africa Twin CRF 1000 um, as I say it's raised me up at probably about 30 mil bought me forward, 20 mil, 30 mil, and it seems a fantastic position. I haven't took the bike out for a ride yet, but um, it will tell. Time will tell. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.